All right, today we're going over why ice baths are an amazingly stupid, beneficial waste of your life, probably slowing muscle growth, but also could be making your life better. Let's get after it. Shitter was full. Now, when the goal of your training is centered around hypertrophy or muscle growth, then ice baths, probably not the most effective thing to do. In fact, they're pretty damn detrimental. There's actually an interesting study on this and I wanted to hate it and dismiss it because honestly, I didn't want it to be true, but I couldn't. What they did is had participants work out and then submerge one leg into room temperature water. The other one they put into ice water and they had them drink a protein carbohydrate concoction. They measured their blood as well as did muscle fiber biopsies before and after on each leg. And what they found is the one that was submerged in ice water had lower rates of muscle protein synthesis. Which makes you think, who signs up for this shit? I just hope they did it in a humane way, unlike those studies they do on mice. Instead, I hope they did the right thing and just found a couple crackheads off the street. And I think this is something we all just innately knew. It's the same reason you don't get in the habit of snorting anti-inflammatories after every time you train, because you're inhibiting your body's ability to do its job. Now, does this mean you should shit can cold plunges completely? Before you make that decision, you need to know that there's some serious benefits as well. You've heard the saying, brown fat is bad fat, which is true, especially when it's around your internal organs, but that's a lot more rare than you think, and it's only found in extreme cases of obesity. It's seen more often in babies, grizzly bears, and believe it or not, people with less body fat because it's loaded with mitochondria, and it's responsible for dissipating heat as energy when we're cold, or just simply put, warming us up. But there's actually another kind of fat that's even more prevalent. It's the reason that the women I used to text in my 20s at 2 a.m. to come over and do horrible things to me couldn't recognize my house in the light of day. It's something I'm not proud of. I've changed. I'm now pro chubbies. But the reason like creatures they had to navigate by the light of the moon is because they had an excessive amount of what's called white fat. And technically it's not white. It's actually this disgusting yellow hue. And the brown fat is what burns the white fat. The neat thing is even with your body's initial exposure to an ice bath, it'll cause some of the white fat in your body to take on properties of the brown fat, increasing thermogenesis and decreasing your body fat. Now, I'm not gonna bore you too much with the rest of the benefits, but just so you know, it's definitely been shown to increase the rate of recovery when implemented between training bouts that are done on the same day. It's also been shown to have positive effects on depression because of its release of noradrenaline as well as other hormones and it can help you manage stress better because it helps you lower cortisol levels. And lastly, if you have any sort of autoimmune disease, I would do some more research and seriously consider cold water therapy because of the anti-inflammatory effects. But honestly, that's not why I do it and not the reason I think you should do it as well. I think the biggest benefit is training your body to be comfortable with the uncomfortable. Now that I know, I'll definitely stop doing it post-workout. It's something I'll start my day with a few times a week, but, but forcing yourself into an uncomfortable situation, having to manage the stress, will make you a better lifter. And it's gonna help you build more muscle because the reason that you quit on 99% of the sets you do isn't because your body gave out. It's because your mind did. If you haven't checked out any of the programs, I'll link them below. Again, they're all 30 days, 20 videos, 20 bucks. Pretty damn simple. It's fucking gold. If you want to know the scientific way to train your legs, I watched this video. This one's another good one. But as always, get after it, get growing. Talk to you soon.